It's the Logan Power Show Inspirational and motivational It's the Logan Power Show Informational to help you grow Logan, Logan, Logan Logan Power Show and now the host, Calvin Logan. How you doing, guys? This is Tara D. Hayward, and I'm live here at the Logan Power Show. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan, with the Logan Power Show. Nationwide, worldwide. I thank you all for listening, tuning in, listening to what we are doing and how we're making an impact, not just on a small scale, but a big scale. Nationwide, worldwide. We're excited. Please keep following us. Go to our website today, www.thelogampowershow.us. Donate today. Keeps us flowing. Hey, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Hey, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. And follow us on LinkedIn. Well, hey, I don't take it lightly at the Logan Power Show. I got with me a host, man. She is a phenomenal real estate agent. Hey, she's the cream of the crop. She knows how to get things done. She's the one and only Miss Tara Hayward. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Great to have you here at the Logan Power Show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about you and your business. How long have you been a real estate agent? I've been a real estate agent for almost six years now. Six years. Got six it. Years. Now, we know we've gone through the pandemic. The pandemic has been something that um, I know that has been one of a, an elite situation where people have gone through all different walks of life. And uh, we know that people are going through the ins and the outs, the trials and tribulations. But uh, from your own personal experience, uh, what are some things that people should be looking for? Should people should be looking at getting a house now? Should they wait? From your personal experience, what should people be doing in your personal tech? Well, right now we're in a seller's market. So if someone is interested in selling their house, I mean, houses are flying off the market. Um, hours, you know, tops. Um, but it's tough. Um, people are, buyers are in a tight spot right now. Um, but it's happening. Um, houses are moving. People are still buying. Um, so it didn't really slow down. It's just um, more people to one house. You know what I mean? So it's multiple offers on properties. Um, but we out here getting it done. Absolutely. Uh, now, since you are an expert, what are some things people should be looking forward in this season? And the reason why I'm saying that is, you know, so, say there's a buyer. I want looking to buy a house. What are some things I need to do to sort of make sure that I have all my ducks in a row uh, from the buyer's perspective? And then another question is when it comes to a seller, say I want to sell my home because I feel like either house too big or I need to have some more equity in my life and I need to get some money now. What are some things in those two caveats where people got to do to be successful in your personal opinion? Well, one of the things as far as a bias concerned, you definitely want to make sure you got your credit straight. Um, you took care of all of that. Um, the higher, the better. The better your interest rate would be, of course. Um, you definitely have to have some savings. Um, there's no such thing as buying a uh, house with no money. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of things that you have to um, take care of. But in this market, you definitely have to have some money, moving power. Um, as far as a seller is concerned, um, just definitely have to make sure you check out and see um, what your house is worth. Um, right now, you know, got to get it in order, make sure it's up to par, correct things that need to be corrected to get it to the point of selling. Um, and it definitely will be able to sell in this market. So if there's someone out there that's um, interested in selling, um, your house is definitely needed <laughs> um, in this seller's market. <laughs> someone is waiting um, to purchase it. Um, I can almost guarantee that. So um, I got you. That's what I was saying. Now, one good, big question. I know it's, it's a heavy hitter. Um, there are a lot of speculations when it comes to buyers, when it comes to African-Americans buying Latinos compared to Caucasians. Uh, Asian Americans where prices do change when becoming the buyer. Um, there are some just people reports put out there. Um, and there's also comes to selling too, 
where people who are sellers, if an African-American family selling or a Latino family selling, then the value is not different than a Caucasian may be. Uh, in your personal experience, because I don't want to put you on the spot saying you are the, the expert of in your personal experience, is some of that still going on or is it like a fallacy? Or is it something that's made up? Um, I personally, for me, I'm going to say I do believe it's happening, but I have not experienced that. Um, a lot of my buyers um, have not been African-American um, or Latino. Um, so I hadn't really run into that problem, um, so to speak, to where, you know, someone would not want to sell their house to them because of um, their background. So I haven't personally run into that, but I've heard um, agents do speak about that, that. So that sort of thing happening sometimes. Got you. And, and people who are watching right now, we're, we're not trying to to bring uh, any racial disparity. We're just knowing that there are some things that's going on, but we know that you are, are waving the storm and you're doing very successful. Now, since you are very successful at what you do, uh, what are some things that some challenges that you're facing? Um, and the reason I'm saying that I, I know it's a very competitive arena uh, in selling and that people do uh, size people up, you know, especially gender, you know. Oh, there's a woman, a woman selling, or say if it's a man selling, you know, do people take take you serious? What have you seen in your own personal take in that regards? Um, I, I would say people uh, take me seriously. Um, I've had people tell me sometimes when there were times where business might seem slow that it would say, you know, take your picture off or something like that, you know, and I'm like, no, this is me. So I want you to see, you know, what you're getting before you get me. Um, so that's, I don't have any issues with that um, and getting a array of different clients. You know, black, white, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, hence my tagline, the realtor for all people. So I take them all. <laughs> I got you. And I see yeah. your dog, I see your dog is one of your biggest, biggest yes. supporters in the back. I'm background. sorry. No, no. I'm I'm sorry. No problem. Like I said, everybody knows you are a friendly, a dog lover. So definitely know yes. if if Miss Hayward comes and she's selling your home, I guarantee she, she it's for the whole family. It's for the <laughs> it's for the whole family plus the dog. Because if you're a dog lover, you want her because she's gonna say this is the perfect house for yes. your dog because your dog needs love too. Uh, just getting more into this, uh, you know, you hear a lot of people say, you know what, I'm gonna rent. I'm going to be a renter for the rest of my life. I don't feel that the house is a, is, it's available to me either because, uh, like you mentioned, my credit is jacked up or, you know, I know the house may be too much uh, of the what's the monthly, the mortgage compared to the rent. Um, what do you talk to some of those kind of people that sort of say, like, I want to feel the, uh, the, the, the apartment life instead of getting a house life? How do you? stop those kind of arguments and sort of in your personal take to let people know that may, this may be a possibility for you? Well, um, I will say buying is not for everyone. Um, some people who may move around a lot, you know, that, that might not be the move for them. Um, but one thing you have to live somewhere. And so um, you will always need a, a place to stay. So instead of paying rent to someone, um, you know, pay for something that you own and be able to get something out of it, whether it be equity, you be able to sell it later versus you being in an apartment, you just paying off someone else's mortgage. Um, also, you can have your pet. <laughs> um, you don't have to worry about pet fees and, you know, you may have to worry about neighbors every now and then depending on, you know, where you live. But um, I just, I just would say, um, maybe buying a house is definitely not for everyone, but if that's something that you dream of doing, um, put your mind to it, take the time, get your credit right, um, talk to a realtor, you know, to make sure if you don't know, ask, you know, ask the expert, you know, myself, um, and not a friend because everybody's transaction and situation is different. And so just find out for yourself and see if that's for you, if it is. Go for it. If it's not, continue doing what you're doing. Absolutely. Now, for those that maybe, you know, 
watching this show want to get connected with you. How far do you go in selling and buying? What's your range? Okay, I'm in, in the Charleston, South Carolina area, mm -hmm. but um, it's surrounding area. So um, just give me a call. I mean, I go, Charleston is a, 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 a big place. So you <laughs> hear Charleston, but I mean, it could be Mount Pleasant, it could be Somerville, it could be Goose Creek, Monk's Corner. Um, also, we got next door, we got Columbia, you know what I mean? So we have Hampton County. You give me a call. And if I can't help you, I definitely can refer you to someone who can. Absolutely. Well, you know, for me, it's a blessing having you. Um, I know that you, you're needed. Uh, I believe that you're real estate agent of the future and the present. You know, I definitely will be staying in contact with you. And uh, I tell everybody right now, the housing time is now. You see Miss Hayward, she has a smile on her face. It's a million dollar smile. I'm telling you, she's going to bring you in. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, because you, you're selling uh, your home to people and things of that nature, um, what kind of customer service should people should expect? They say that if they get Miss Hayward, what is the, what's the experience like? What's the experience for you? What do you want people, what kind of customer should, should when they choose you, what makes you different between the competition, your personal take? Why should people choose you? Um, you choose me if you want to buy or sell a house. <laughs> Point blank. And I say that like that because if you call me up and you say, hey, I'm ready to buy a house, we're not going to stop until you buy a house. So I'm going to start with you from the beginning. If you need your credit, you know, looked at, worked on, we're going to work with you. It can be a tiring process, but I'm going to be there with you for the long haul. You know, from the beginning of the sale beyond, you know, once the sale is over, you know, I'm still here, you know, to ask some questions, take referrals to, for family, friends, but, you know, excellent customer service questions, you know, don't feel any question is a dumb question. Um, I do this. You may, may not do this. So this is something that ask a question you may think is a dumb question. No, it's not. Give me the question. I'll answer it. Make this process as smooth for you as possible. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you got our you got our hometown hero, Ms. Tyra Harrod. She is the realtor of the future, realtor of the present. Um, give her a, a chance. Uh, the information is available to you on the screen. It's Tyra Hayward, Tara Hayward dot XL Real Estate SC dot com. Once again, it's Tara Hayward dot XL Real Estate SC dot com. Is someone you want to get in contact with, you want to be connected with, hey, I promise you this, she is the real estate of the future. So stay tuned, stay locked. Hey, this, this is my time I got. My name is Calvin the Logan Power Show Nationwide. Worldwide, we love you. We'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. My name is Tara Hayward. I go by Tara D, the realtor for all people. If you are looking to buy, sell, or invest, please, please give me a call. My phone number is 843-209-3773. And my website is taradhayward.com.